Now the installation. We need first to install the, the QPMX. This is the main tool for the beginning. The QPMX you can download from the website on the on your screen or from the link in the downloadable tab on the left right side. <laughs> Sorry. Then for the QPMX you also need to have the Java on your PC. Then you need to download the 32-bit or 64-bit uh, Java version. In case you face some issues during the installation or some uh, problems in Java, I recommend to look on the user manual from the QPMX, user manual number 1718, into the FAQ section are the most common problems during the installation. The second part which we need is uh, the IDE. The second part which we need also to install will be the IDE which we need for the debugging the labs and also for the writing our code. For the IDE, we have several options. First can be, for example, Atollic, IR, Kale, or for example, System Workbench from AC6. It's on you which one you will select. The first hands-on I will show on the for the all of them. During the next laps, I will usually pick only one. But usually the hands-ons will be very simple, don't be afraid. The also for the debugging and for the query connection with our Nuclear Kit Discovery Board or Eval Board, you will need also the ST-Link driver. In case you never work with the ST microcontroller before, the driver will be necessary. It's possible that few IDEs will install this driver automatically but for sure here is link for our driver and please not forget usually for the driver installation you need to have the admin rights definitely on windows pcs